Hey, so we got a couple options here. We've been we've been sliding the guy by with a with an outside step and then just breaking at the waist, leaning over, just getting our normal slide by. We bumped, we went inside, and then just getting this guy's hands down to the mat, chasing waist. We also this guy runs away a little bit. We look for backside attacks. Alright? Now we're looking to off off balance this guy is what I would consider it. You don't hear off balancing a lot unless you really get deep into Greco. Talking about off balancing the guy with, with certain ties because you can't attack the leg, so it's a much tougher to set up your attacks. Because in a Greco match, I'm only attacking this part of his body from his waist up. So off balancing a guy is really important to be able to get to your locks and stuff because I can't grab the legs or trip and sweep. All right? With these slide buys, now we got the opportunity to sweep freestyle or folk style, and we still have those, those methods, right? So we talked about stepping, foot changing last week. We were stepping and bending, and then we were also coming off, and then just twisting down. Now we have all those same tactics, but we're doing it from our overtime, right? And I can guide them by with the wrist or the elbow, right? So I'm stepping, I'm foot changing, this guy's coming around. Now I have him in a pretty good spot. I still have a little bit of an angle, now I'm bringing the head back across the foot as I'm trapping it. I'm just trying to put him on his butt. Now, more than likely, he'll start falling to his butt and then turn down to his belly, or he might stumble a little bit and we have to follow up with a leg attack. But it's over tie here on the bicep. I'm blocking at the, at the elbow. Okay, I'm blocking at the elbow. I can foot change, or I can just step deep, guide him down right here, and then I still have, whoop, got that foot. And then just work on your timing. Everything's over tie block though. Everything's over tie block. Here, right there, give me that foot. And the quicker I do it a lot of times when I'm here, whether I foot change or bend over, the quicker I do it here, the better. Because he's circling away, so he's leaning towards that backside leg, so this near leg is a lot lighter. All right, so just play with your timing. Okay, foot change here, boom, right there. Chase them down. Just chase them down. Fall on top of them. Wrap their legs up. Just get your two. All right? But really focus on your timing now. Okay? Really focus on your timing. As I'm getting to this angle, probably too much space. I want, I want to try to get it here. Okay? Initially, when I get it and I hook it, I'm just taking his head back as I'm bringing his foot up in front. All right? Taking his head back as I bring his foot up in front. From here. Okay? Trying to get a little bit quicker. Don't step outside and hook. I'm not, I'm not hooking. I got no post. All right. So try to get as quick as you can, even if it's too, even if it's too soon. Right here. Even if it's too soon. He's stumbling. Right into your secondary attack. He's stumbling around. Just get glued to his legs real quick. All right. But I want you to try to get your kick, get your foot sweep right when that guy starts running out of your slide by. All right, then we'll get some two-on-one stuff. Go.